Okay, in this video, we're going to write our first program and sort of try and connect to this file. So I've got this file and I've called it hello.xlsx. Uh, it's just a basic thing. We've got names and favorite colors. We've got a list of names here and a list of favorite colors here. Now I save this in the same directory where we've been working out throughout this whole course. So if we head back over to our terminal and let me clear the screen and type in ls to list the stuff in our directory, you can see we've got our hello.py file that we did in the last video. And we've got this hello.xlsx Excel spreadsheet file also. So, okay. And, and just notice it's important that it's in this directory. Now it doesn't have to be, and I'll talk about that in a second, but this is where we want it right now. So let me go ahead and clear this screen and let's head over to our sublime text editor. And we're in our hello.py file that we haven't really done anything yet. So the first thing we need to do is let our Python program know that we want to use OpenPy Excel. And to do that, we import OpenPy Excel into our code. And to do that, we come up to the top and we go from openpyexcel.workbook. We want to import workbook. And this is a capital W. So I should mention whenever we're working with a, an Excel spreadsheet, there are basically two things we need to sort of keep an eye on workbooks and worksheets. Now, if we head back over to our Excel sheet here, this whole thing is like a workbook, right? So think of Excel as the workbook, right? Inside of each workbook, inside of each file, there's different worksheets. And those are always listed down here. So I can do this. Now we have sheet two and sheet one, sheet two, sheet one. So sheet one has all of our stuff in it, but sheet two still exists. So these are worksheets, right? So Excel is the workbook. These things are the worksheets. So that's just sort of the terminology that Python expects to see. And uh, that's why that's why we've now imported workbook. This will allow us to import an Excel workbook into our program. So we also want to load an existing workbook. So this will allow us to create our own Excel workbooks. We also want to load other ones. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I've created an Excel spreadsheet. We want to be able to load that into this file. So to do that, we go from open pi excel we want to import load underscore workbook and these two lines look a little different don't sort of get hung up on that just sort of understand that you need these two lines of code almost in everything that we're going to do from here on out so almost every time we create a new python program and we want to do excel stuff with we're going to put these two lines of code at the top so First, let's create a workbook object. And Python is an object oriented programming language. So we create objects and we do things with them. And so I'm just going to call this WB short for workbook. And then we just set it equal to a workbook object. Right. And you notice this is basically this up here. So we've created a workbook. We've named it WB. Now we can do stuff to it later on by referencing this WB variable, right? And this will become more apparent what I'm talking about with this stuff later on. So, okay, that's pretty good. Now we need to uh, create a worksheet or better yet, an active worksheet. And to do that, we just call, we create a new variable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it worksheet, or I'm gonna call it WS, short for worksheet. And we're gonna set that to WB dot active. And this WB is this WB up here. So we're saying, hey, from this workbook, make this variable sort of the active worksheet. And in this case, that's going to be this thing once we load our worksheet, because it's the active one. It's the first one. It's the one that opens when you open Excel. It's the one that, you know, is shown. It's the active worksheet, right? So, okay, we've designated that. Now let's load existing spreadsheet. So to do that, we're going to call on our WB and we want to set it now equal to load underscore workbook. And then just the name of our spreadsheet. And remember, I called it hello dot XLSX. Now, because we saved it into the same directory that this whole thing is saved in, we can just reference it as hello dot XLSX. If you save this in a different directory, you would have to specify that here. So you'd be like something like C forward slash my files forward slash 
actually forward slash. There we go. So this is an absolute path. It is the absolute location on your computer of this file. If it was in the my files directory, this is a relative path. It, and this is just relative to whatever directory you're currently in. We're in our Excel dash Python directory. This file is saved in that directory so we can just reference it like this. So, okay, so we've now sort of created our first program. We've loaded the Excel spreadsheet into it and now we're ready to go. I think this video is getting a little bit long. So in the next video, we'll actually print out something from the spreadsheet onto our terminal and that'll be in the next video.